And my name is Hugo Spowers from River Simple. And we've uh, developed a fuel cell car using all the skills that uh, have grown up in the motorsport industry. The big breakthrough that makes fuel cell cars possible is not at the level of the subsystems and the science. It's about how you put the whole thing together. I'm an engineer. I spent 15 years in motorsport designing and building racing cars. And I got out of it really for environmental reasons and I felt that we had to do something different. And at the same time I became aware of fuel cell technology and just what the possibilities were to make a step change in automotive technology. We've designed a car around the fuel cell and the characteristics of the fuel cell. Rather than to put a fuel cell into cars that have been optimised over the last 80 years, around uh, internal combustion engines. These are the fuel cell stacks. There's four of them. Uh, the hydrogen comes in here into the fuel cell stack and the air is fed in here. But they're very simple fuel cells. Now this vehicle is designed to be made in carbon fibre. It, it, the fact that it's made from a different material, it's not steel, leads to different design choices and the, the shape in which it's made. You'll notice, in fact, that the door apertures are almost uh, a complete oval. There are no tight radii because carbon fibre gives you a lot of flexibility to design in a different way such that you don't have these sharp corners which are effectively stress raisers. This body's been designed by a, a team of three people, respectively a, a stylist, uh, an engineer doing the, the structural design and all the uh, energy management and impact and also the surfacing who's, uh, which has been done by a third person to create all the tools for the mould. And if we look inside the car, we don't have a gearbox, you'll see that there's two pedals, a stop pedal and a go pedal. It, it just gives you an awful lot more freedom in uh, how you package the vehicle which is terribly important, especially in, a, in an urban vehicle where you're trying to get the maximum uh, space and usable space inside for the minimum exterior dimensions. So River Simple is a very small company. There's actually only six people who are working full-time within the business, but we've got a huge network of collaborators who work part-time with us. This, I, I would hasten to point out, is a technology demonstrator. And we have set up an open source foundation. We are going to open source all the technology to encourage as many people as possible to take these ideas and these standards up and develop highly efficient fuel cell cars. But it allows them to work on a real world project that's really going somewhere to develop skills that they know will be marketable in the future to other clients. Well, I think it's now a really fascinating time to be working in the automotive sector because we've been through a hundred years of gradually optimising the technology of cars more and more. And we've now got to stand back and look at the bigger picture. We've got to pull together uh, new ideas and new patterns of relationships from different, different technical areas. And that ability to look across a range of different issues simultaneously is, is becoming much more important. And that makes for a very exciting role because you've got to be much better at networking, at collaborating across a, a broad range of skills and pulling a whole lot of different ideas together simultaneously, which I think is what makes it so exciting for me at the moment. <laughs>